Number system, base concept. Base concept is one of the most important concept uh, that is always in present in the examinations like common admission test conducted by IAMS and many other ME entrance examinations and also in GRE and GMAT. Most of the best selling books have ignored this topic. I don't know why. So let us discuss it over here. Understanding the basics. The number system that we follow is called decimal number system. In decimal number system, all the digits of the number are raised to power of 10. Let us understand this with the help of example. 1, 2, 3, 4 is in fact 1 into 10 raised to 3 plus 2 into 10 raised to 2 plus 3 into 10 raised to 1 plus 4 into 10 raised to 0. So basically this is 10 raised to 0 place, this is 10 raised to 1 place, this is 10 square place and this is 10 cube place. So the digits are respectively multiplied by the respective power of 10 and this is how this number has been formed so this gives 1000 this gives 200 and this gives 30 and this gives 4 and it sums up to 1234 the base of the decimal number system is 10 place value and face value we saw this number on the previous slide 1 2 3 4 this is 10 raised to 0 place, this is 10 raised to 1 place, this is 10 square place and this is 10 cube place. But, uh, these places are also called, this is unit place, this is tens place, hundreds place and thousands place. These are called place values, this unit, uh, tens, hundreds and thousands are called place values. On the other hand, the dis dig only digit as it appears to be is called face value the face value of this uh, one is one itself and not thousand but the place value is thousand the place value of this two is two hundred but the face value is two itself so we can arrive to the conclusion that maximum face value that we can have is nine because when we add one more to this it turns to ten which itself has two different places. The face value is defined for each and every place. Okay, so the maximum face value is nine. This is pretty easy concept, but it is uh, needed, so you should keep in mind. Other number systems do exist. Decimal number system is widely used, but mathematically infinite number of number systems may exist. CAT, that is Common Admission Test and other MBA entrance exams put this concept to test. Let us see how it works. Other number system, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we, uh, we just saw how this number is formed. That is 1 10 raised to 3 plus 2 into 10 square plus 3 into 10 raised to 1 plus 4 into 10 raised to 0. Now, by changing the base of the number system, we can change the entire number system. For example, 1 into 2 cube plus 2 sorry about this uh, it is difficult to write with mouse so this happens sometimes anyways 2 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 raised to 1 that is 2 plus 4 into 2 raised to 0 that is 4 itself so this is 8 plus this will also be 8 plus this is 6 plus this 4 6 plus 4 10 plus 8 18 plus so this is 26 now you can see the difference by just by changing the base number changes itself and please don't make mistake of calling this as 26 because 20 
you can call this as 26 only when the base is 10 but here the base of the number is changed to 2 this changing of base we will understand further I am just explaining you that other number systems do exist okay so this is you can just treat it as 26 and not 26 okay now let us proceed and don't worry about this the application of this concept I will tell you what exactly you have to apply in the sums fractions and whole numbers 1 2 3 4 now this is the example we just discussed again it has appeared I have used this example only uh, to understand this concept now here you can see all the powers of 10 are whole numbers now let us change the powers to fraction so if you have 10 raised to 3 into 1 plus 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 I am not uh, going any further let us discuss with these two numbers itself and this will be 0 point zero zero one and this will be zero point zero two and the summation will be point zero two one uh, I hope you understood this but still to make you explain let me just clarify this a bit the concept says that whenever the powers will be whole numbers the entire number formed will be whole number as in this case if the a single power if even a single power turns out to be a negative uh, sorry when the powers will be positive the formation will be whole number now if power turns out to be negative integer then what happens is you will get fractions over here okay why anything raised to 0 is 1 let us see let us consider 10 raised to 0 now obviously 10 raised to 0 is 1 but why this is the question you can write it like 10 raised to x minus x because x minus x turns out to be 0 this can be further simplified as 10 raised to x upon 10 raised to x these two get cancelled and so our answer is 1 and that is why we always consider anything raised to 0 is 1 <laughs> let us proceed yes conversion uh, from one number system to a decimal number system so let us consider a number 132 in number system with base 6 okay and we want to convert it to a decimal number system I like to remind you again that don't call this number as 132 it is 132 and it is having a hexagonal number system that is number system with a base 6 1 3 2 you want to convert it to uh, decimal number system so this is 10 raised to 0 place this is 10 raised to 1 place this is 10 raised to uh, 2 place according to the decimal number system but as here we are having uh, number system with base 6 so this is 6 is to 0 this is 6 is to 1 place and this is 6 square place so just multiply it with their respective six powers of 6 so you get 10 raised to square plus 3 into 10 sorry 3 into 6 plus 2 because 6 to 0 is uh, 1 so we get this 36 and this is 18 and 2 and sums up to 50 8 plus 2 10 plus 6 16 1 6 and 3 4 56 okay this is this very simple process and I can expect you that uh, you can convert now any number in any given number system to a decimal number system for example if you are giving 15 that is 1 phi I'm sorry to call it 15 again uh, it is 1 phi and you want to convert and this is in a base say 2 and you want to convert it to decimal then it will be 1 into 2 
plus five that is one raised to power of two because this is raised to one place and this is raised to zero place so raised to zero will be the number itself five plus two that gives you seven now let us take one last example say number 13 having base 9 and you want to convert it to base 10 that is decimal so 1 into 9 plus 3 9 plus 3 is 11 this will be our answer pretty simple isn't it if you have any doubts you can just post comment down there and I will be explaining okay conversion of decimal to any other number system yes this is a pretty simple but yet quite different from the previous process in the previous process we are convert we were converting from the some other number system to decimal number system whereas here we will be converting from decimal to any other number system uh, let us consider this example for example you are having number 193 uh, we want to convert it uh, this is 193 is a 193 in a decimal number system so you can come uh, correctly read it as 193 you want to convert it to a number system with base 2 so this is the method 193 and here you will write the number and the continuously divide 193 till you get 0 so 296 and you will get 192 2 into 96 and you will get 1 as a reminder write your reminder over here again divided by 2 48 reminder will be 0 2 24 reminder will be 0 2 12 again reminder will be 0 2 6 so reminder will be 0 2 3 reminder will be 0 2 1 reminder will be 1 now 2 0 za 0 reminder will be 1 and once you get 0 your process ends and your answer will be in this order so our answer is 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 that is 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 now I, I, you may feel that what a huge number it had converted to from 193 but you can understand it pretty easily that in 193 the page was 10 whereas here the page had turned to 2 so obviously the magnitude of number may seem too big but in fact both are same the only difference uh, is that pieces are different and so the digits have changed something else okay let us la understand with one more example say 193 and I want to convert it to base 5 uh, I can either write 5 3 the 15 4 is, 4 is a reminder and uh, 5 the 40 is 3 will be the final reminder now I am having sufficient to divide with 5 so 5 7 is a 35 again 3 is a reminder uh, and again 5 1 is a 5 uh, 2 is a reminder and 5 0 is a 0 1 is a reminder and so our answer is 1 2 3 3 okay I'm very much sorry about my uh, dirty handwritings but it is really really difficult to write with mouse so just excuse me in that case okay I hope this lecture will help you out uh, thank you and please take a moment to share this with your friends and subscribe if you like it Thank you.